YouTube. So I got an auto ship in the mail. I got two auto ships, but this will be the first video. I got the window set from Diamond Press from HSN auto ship. So the first one, just to remind you, because sometimes you're always like, I don't know what's going on. So the first set, set came with this stamp set and this stamp set. And then I hope everything's on this die set. I need to get some storage solutions because, yeah. So I got the auto ship and the auto ship dies look like this. Yeah, that little bird. I really wanted the dog. And then this, um, this says thank you. So that's the dies. And then for the stamps on this one, you got these. I just, I love the dog. I'm a dog person. Not that I don't like cats, but I've had both those pets. I just really love dogs. So, and I like that it's not completely beach themed because this is like, you know, regular every day. So I figured we would make a card and play with that. And then I also, side note, finally found some assorted, assorted sheets of foam at the dollar store. I've been to like every dollar store by my house and I don't know where my boyfriend was, but he's like, oh my God, they have them. But he only got me one packet. So I'm gonna try to use this in it too. This is just helpful to like add dimension. So I might use that. So I'm gonna get some supplies together and we will be making a card. All right, I think I'm ready. I don't know. I had a standard card, four and a fourth by five and a half. This is a recollections paper um, that I got from Michaels. It's really thick. I'm using it for albums. I think it's a little too thick for cards, but it's what I got. <sighs> this is in my stash. Don't know where I got it from. It's pretty amazing. So first thing I'm gonna do is I got some powder puff ink from Quick Quotes. And it's kind of mimics the color of this. So I'm just gonna do the edges just a little bit, just to add a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to do it with the card front. And this ink takes a little while to dry, so just pay attention to where you're setting it because, my lord, I have screwed some things up royally. Royally! set this over to the side for a minute and this is color desert desert sun it's their their chalk ink so okay Let's set this over to the side too i'm gonna do some die cutting i have the window from the set i'm gonna cut it in this brown um i mean i wanted to use everything in the set i'm like oh i want to use that i want to use that and it took me like a hot minute to figure out exactly what I wanted to do because I like everything in this set. I think it's adorable. I have been wanting a window set forever. I got a card um, cut down to two and a half by three and a half to do stamping, but we're not doing stamping right now. We're doing card making or die cutting. I have this really pretty bluish lilac y purple color, and I'm going to cut the the curtain die out of that. paper in my stash too. Don't know where I got it. Probably had it for years. Uh, take my marquee out. My little pad. Um, and then got some low-tack tape from Crafter's Companion. It is not low-tack tape, so just pay attention to that. Let us start cutting some snook out. And I do want to do the doggy too. I just think he's cute. I got this idea. Probably 
I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm not like in a terrible rush right now, and this is super easy to do, so. This is really cute, and it's like all stitched and everything. It's just adorable. And I never have to worry with diamond press dies. I know when I cut them out that they're going to cut out, and they're going to cut out beautifully. And I don't have to worry. That's awesome. I picked watercolor card because I'm going to do some watercolor coloring. Makes sense. So, yeah. I'm not getting the Halloween one in this. I'm contemplating. I just really like the window shape on that one. But, I don't know. I, I'm still thinking about it. I got till August, I think. So. That came out really cute. And then you also have, if you're into saving all your little pieces, which I might put this in the inside. I'm gonna set that to the side. I normally don't keep every little piece. Um, I have, in my adult life, have lived in small places. And it just makes it difficult when you're trying to save like every last little bit of everything um, and you have no space. So I always, I literally every six months are going through everything I own and getting rid of things and yeah, I'll keep things, none of that. So I'm going to use the palm tree one. This doesn't have to be perfect because I am going to be covering it with the... Um, curtains so go like right there a block and I'm gonna do watercolor so I just have Versafine I like the sink it's really nice really really nice ink Perfect for me. Like I said, um, I'm gonna be doing watercolor, so I'm not too crazy excited about it. And then I also want the little doggy. I'm gonna color him in too. Oh, he's just so cute. I like him. He had to be perfect because do I need anything else? I'm contemplating and I think I might do it a little seagull. I love seagulls. Uh, I, I love them. I love going to the beach and seeing the seagulls and I don't know. I'm a little weird I suppose when it comes to that but I love them. I think they're just great. Okay, so I'm going to get my watercolor markers. I did not get those out, so give me just one second. Time to color. I just got some of my watercolor brushes. This is a six, and this is a four. Um, and we're just going to color. So if something small like this, like I'm going to do his beak. This, I am using Tombow dual brush pens. I like them a lot. So all I would do is put some color on the side here. Probably take my smaller one and got my water. Make sure it's not terribly wet, but you do want it a little wet. And then I would come in here and just color in. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get too crazy as far as like shading and stuff because this is 
a smaller image. I don't know, I always say that and then I'm like, oh, you know. And then to just kind of make things a little more cohesive, I'm going to color in the dots on the bandana for the puppy dog. Um, or the same orange. Just to kind of bring some cohesiveness to it. Um, I am marking on his chin, which is okay. Um, and then, let's see. Do I have a gray? I kind of have a gray. For the bird. This is a Tombow 992. That means anything. And actually, you know what I think I'm going to do with this? I'm going to go right on the paper. And this is watercolor paper. Um, just so you guys are aware. I'm going to go under his tail. And then he's going to be darker under here because it's closer to the ground. It's going to be light up in here and on his wings. But in here is going to be a little bit. Then his beak. We're going to make this dark here. And around his neck fat too. Okay? So just lay the color where you want it to be the darkest. And take your pen, or your brush, not your pen. And you're going to just come in and push that color around. And you got to make sure you're using a really good ink for this because you don't want it like smooshing around if that makes sense. Smearing, smearing. You don't want it to smear. That was the term I was using. So it's a little bit shaded. I might go back and do it a little bit more because I kind of do want it shaded a bit. I'm going to do his feet the same color. Orange. Which, that was a 925. So I'm going to grab some of this. Just go in and do his little feetsies. Okay. That's perfect. Let's work on the puppy dog. I think I'm going to do, I feel like I'm going to do a couple different kinds of browns. So I'm going to pull out 977, and then I have a really dark brown, which is a 879. And I'm going to do 879 for the uh, spots. It's like his butt's going to be pretty dark and probably in here is going to be pretty dark. And then his ear. Like that. And oh, that's a big spot, so. Some water, spread it around. Okay, and then I get this lighter brown, which is a nine seven seven. You can use the tumbles right on the paper if you want, like I showed you before. Uh, I just like this because it has a little bit more, oh, I missed the spot on his back. It has a little bit more control, I feel like. Color him up. It's smearing. I don't know. We'll have to see how well the uh, it die cuts out. I'm gonna have to redo this.
This is supposed to be watercolor paper, so good stuff too, because I do a lot of like uh, watercolors, paintings and stuff, so this is a good watercolor paper, but it's like smearing everywhere, which I don't like. I don't know. I come in and darken some of this up. Maybe this isn't watercolor paper, but no, it is watercolor. It's just smearing everywhere. And I don't know why. It's not looking too hot, I don't think. I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit more. I cut them out and see how it looks. Just adding a little water because I want it to smooth out. You don't want that huge demarcation line, if that makes sense. A little smooth, but just a little bit darker. So you can keep building it. You can just keep building and building and building and building um, if you want it. Let's get the little dies out. you're going to always want to um, take down for sure, but I'm a little concerned it's going to rip my paper. So that's never good. I'll try to get it mostly on the side I'm not using, if that makes sense. Pa the paper I'm not using. See how this comes out. Okay, I gotta think about that now. That's okay. Not great, but not terrible either. So I'm gonna let it dry and then um, I'm gonna try something. We'll see if it, it helps. All right, let's paint the scene. So um, I'm gonna need a green. Actually, what I'm going to do is bring it in here a little bit. That is a vivid green. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker. Make sure I get the center really good and dark. Grab some. Grab some. Okay. 
Okay, that looks cute. I'm gonna use one of the colors that I used with the dog and the bird. Like I said, to try to keep things cohesive. And it's still just spreading like crazy. I don't know. I'm like really certain that this was a uh, watercolor, but I guess not. And then I've got, where's that color I saw? Yeah. This is kind of a sandy color. This is 850. So just a really light, and actually I just might put some here. Spread it out. I'm gonna actually bring in some of this other colors. Whoa, what's going on with my brush? Oh, that's green. I don't want green. I thought that was brown. Is this the brown? Okay. We are not mixing from the palette. Let's mm -hmm. kinda of blend this in together. This part, like I said, you're not gonna see a good amount of it. Um, just kind of like a hint, I think. I'm hoping. Hoping it's not a whole heck of a lot. And then we need a blue. Got four, seven, six. This might bleed in because the sand is pretty wet. FYI, you want to wait. Want to be something you want to do because it is gonna. Um, see how it's doing that. I'm gonna go get a piece of paper towel, and I will fix that straight away. I'm just gonna sop it up a bit. I don't want that blue coming in. Then we should do something probably for the sky. Um, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to try to air dry that a little bit. I mean, um, heat gun it a little bit because uh, it's going to be a little too should work and I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to be fancy it might blow up on my face we'll see we'll see fanciness might blow up on my face but I can do some orange here because we're gonna do like um like a sunrise or a sunset kind of thing so we'll do some orange and then we'll do a red or pink probably pink and then a red And don't worry about laying them down like super perfect. It's okay. This is a lot of work for something that you're not going to see a lot of, but that's okay. It works for me. And I'm going to do just like a light kind of purpley color up here. Just do like a fun sky color. Then you're going to get your brush wet. Hopefully this won't bleed on everything. And you're just going to bring it all together. And this one's point, this brush is a little bit pointier, so I'm going to get some water so I can get up in here a bit. This is 
pretty. This you definitely want your brush good and wet. You do not want it too dry because it's going to be causing problems. too much like a swirly swirl and oh this is pretty I like this now watercolors are very unpredictable so if that's not something you like and you're like oof that's a mess then this would not be for you but I think that's absolutely stunning really pretty all right that's got to dry so I will be back with you guys when this dries so we can assemble the card. Okay, so, so it's dried. I wanted to show you what I did with the curtains. I took some of the craft foam and glued it to each other so it will stick up a little bit. I'm gonna put the card together. This is what the watercolor looks like. And I didn't create this exact size um, of the window because I want to be able to play with it a little bit. So, put some glue on here. You could totally make this in a shaker card. That would be really fun. Here goes my glue again, not wanting to come out. And I don't like this corner here, so we're going to make sure we do not include that in the window view. I'm going to do something like this. Press it down and then just take my scissors and trim around it. So that looks really pretty. I'm in love with it. Got our little base here. Got water on it. And of course, it's not coming out. frustrating thing about this glue. I love this glue otherwise you just cannot get it out of the thing and it's going all the way to the bottom. It's not... I don't know what's wrong with it. Like what is the deal? I mean, you can get the needle through it, so I don't quite understand why it's not working. Makes you wonder. Dog wants to be let back in. Just literally just let her out. Okay. It's one of those patterns that are going to make your stuff look crooked even though it's not crooked. Let me put this down and then I will go get her in. Sometimes she's not even 
like barking to be let in. She's just barking. I'm gonna put this up here in the center. Put my marquee on it and I'm gonna go let my dog in. Be right back. Okay. She did want to be let back in. Alright, so that's cute. And then I'm gonna put the little birdie. Is that too much? I feel like that's a little too much, but I already caught him out and I think he's cute. Because I'm gonna put the little curtains. I think I'm gonna cut off. his feet and kind of tuck him like that. That'll be cute. It is a little much. We're just like layer upon layer upon layer, but it's really cute. So this uh, crap bone is gonna add some dimension um, which I like. So, top of the window and down. Hold it down a bit. Oh, this is so cute. I just love this set. I think this set is just adorable. Let me see if I got some foam squares. And I just, I love this puppers. I think he is such a Sasquatch. It's like he ate the trash and he's like thinking like, what are you going to do about it, mom? It's kind of what I feel like he's saying right now. What are you going to do about it, mom? Or there's a surprise in your shoe. All right, let's see. Okay. Put him in the corner. And that is the outside, and I think that is just so so cute now I gotta do the inside and I don't because I use scraps I don't have a lot of paper for the inside and I don't know what I'm gonna use this card for they have a lot of really great um, sentiments so I think I'm gonna save it maybe I won't save it it's always good to have a bunch of cards on hand right just a bunch of random cards let's do do a solid three on this. Just cut off that end. And I'm gonna do. I do like four and three fourths. And I was thinking, so this could just kind of go in the center. And you could put. That is really crooked, but maybe it's not really crooked. I don't, I don't know. That looks weird. I'm not gonna do that. I gotta check this paper out. It looks super, super crooked to me. Both sides. Mm, that's good. That's good, I guess. I really feel like it's crooked. It's not, but I feel like it is. I'm gonna ink these edges too. Just bring the front of the card in to Okay, and then let's see what kind of sentiments they have. And we'll just stamp something. With the new one. What do we got? What do we got? Dear friend, um, sending sunshine just because. I think I'm going to do sending sunshine because summertime. And I love this this mat that um, Diamond Press has. I love this mat. If you think of this mat, 
please by all means do I used to have just cheap foam like almost like that craft foam that I was using to stamp on and uh, nothing compares so if this is out of frame I apologize I just want to make sure I get this right in the center or right where I want it because um, this is my last piece of this blue paper and I don't want to screw it up. So we will put that in the inside to complete this really adorable card. How cute is that? I think it's adorable. And then you see the um, foam adds a little bit of dimension. This is popping up for some reason on the side, but it's a really cute card. I love the set. I love the windows. I knew I had to get the auto ship. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I just realized cleaning up. I didn't show you the little little sheet that they give you. I love these sheets. They're great. So they show you like what you can do. I thought about recreating that card but I refrained. I made something different. But I, yeah this is kind of cool to show too. So.